Hi. Uh, thank you, Meryl. Hey, Sam. Hi, how are you? What's going on? Cheers. Chink. Che oh, yes, cheers. Of course, it wouldn't oh. be Outlander without a little uh, libation, I, would it? I hope you're having a nice, uh, what is that, is that a little whiskey? I, I mean, yes, to do, a, to do a blatant plug, of course. <laughs> well, it's evening time here. And, and I suppose the most important people we need to say hello to is, hello, all the fans. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm very, very happy and proud to join you today and say hi to all of our fantastic Outlander fans, the Outlander community. We also want to say a huge thank you uh, we're trying to support the incredible Doctors Without Borders, which provides life-saving medical humanitarian work during COVID, especially in these times, they do great work. So if you want to support them, please click on the link. Yes. So what have you been up to? <laughs> what have I been up to? What have you been up to? Oh God, well, I, I have not been as busy as you. Um, I have learned a few things about myself during this lockdown. Oh, uh-oh. I have learned that, I think my spirit animal is definitely a bear. And I think that I easily go into hibernation <laughs> and I love my sleep and I have a propensity to be a very lazy person. I was trying to think what your spirit animal would be. I think bear. I think. I don't, well, actually a bear is quite nice because they're very huggable, furry, <laughs> yeah. but if you, if you annoy them, they're with lumbering. <laughs> and they love honey. They do, they do love honey. I wonder what's my spirit animal then? Well, you're very, very active. It has to be something that's like always on the go. I was gonna, I was gonna say a horse. I was gonna say a horse. Yeah, <laughs> I'll go with a horse because also they're very flighty and um, get a bit they like tend to, Yeah, and they <laughs> tend to eat. They tend to eat out of a nose bag. So. <laughs> I think we should come clean here, right? Because I just had to like change my name on Zoom because I'd forgotten to change it. What was it? It was. It was three amigos. <laughs> Why was it three amigos? <laughs> because myself and two of my co-stars, we had a socially distanced cocktail night where we went to Katrina Bob's place with my Sophie garden. Skelton in your garden, and we were like socially isn't across the garden, and we took turns making these cocktails for everyone, which um, pr proceeded to be I, I don't remember the rest of the evening. Well, well, we had. I, I can I can tell that we had three cocktails and I don't think any of us remember <laughs> what happened after the third one because a certain uh, Sam Ewan was doing the pour. What what else have you been doing? You've been doing your book club. That's been fantastic. You've been reading a lot. Yeah. No, I, I actually yeah I've been reading a lot. I, I yeah I've just been very homey. I've been reading a lot. I have a very cool herb garden that I'm actually, I just left Glasgow two days ago. And herb I'm very garden? A her yes, a herb garden. <laughs> no, herb like garden. proper herb. Oh, and right. it's yeah, beautiful yeah, yeah. and it smells so good. Tell me what you've been up to, because you've been very busy. You've been doing lots of exciting things. I have been working with a, a great friend of ours, Mr. McTavish, Lady M, as we like to call her. We, we have written a book. <laughs> Yeah, we actually have. It's been it's been amazing. I've been really enjoying writing. I know you're writing as well. People will be able to also order it in America because we have a, a, a American version that's going to be published there. So it's been really fun, really good. And also, How read it. Wait, come here. I have I have a question. Do you do you um, give anecdotes about all of your lovely co-stars? Well, <laughs> <laughs> ah, <laughs> oh dear. You know, it is a bit of an expose. So. Um, oh, right. Okay, so so are we getting approval over our? Uh... <laughs> it, it is a very good question. I don't think you have anything to be worried about. In fact, in fact, I think you come off pretty well. However, there are other um, co-stars, namely Duncan Lacroix. That um, I mean, it's nothing you wouldn't expect. What have you been doing that's brought you joy or happiness? What have you really loved about quarantine? I suppose you said sleeping is a good one. And sleeping I have enjoyed is definitely that. up there, very, very close to the top of the list. You know, I think it's it's weird. You know, I I I, I don't think I have ever slept in one bed for that many consecutive nights since I have been seventeen. Yeah, and it was really. <laughs> Oh, strange thing, you know, I'm, I'm so grateful. Everyone I know has been healthy and I know that I'm in a very privileged position and, you know, I, I feel very lucky and all of that, but it was a very odd life lesson about 
staying still and then learning a lot about myself because I do like to travel and move and not be in one place for too long. I sort of feel like I hope, I mean, we all sort of say, you know, part of COVID was like, you, you know, enjoy the downtime and, you know, learning to, I don't know, be less dependent on um, doing stuff, you know, just being at home, enjoying the simple things like, I know, like reading or cooking or talking to, to loved ones. And I, actually, I hope that we all kind of continue that as things begin to open up. I, I have been Zooming quite a bit with, with McTavish, most, most of all, like a couple of times a week. And, um, and that, that sort of, that interaction has been really, really fun. I've really enjoyed that. So will I continue calling him all the time? Probably not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so going back to Outlander, is there any moment in season five that was your favorite moments there? I mean, there was, you know, it was quite a season. One thing we all loved about this season was that we got back to those kind of standalone, episodic, almost feeling episodes. So we got to do quite a lot of things that had a very different tone to it. It was very painful, but F7 was just so sad, but so wonderful. And you were amazing. And Duncan was so amazing. Oh. Wow. It was such an emotional episode for all of us because not only were we, were we all losing this incredible character that we've all come to love so much, but we were we were saying goodbye to Duncan, which we were all really really sad about. Yeah, I think, um, I think I agree, but I think you know it was such a great season. I think from certainly it really ramps up from you know towards the end. And mm -hmm. I mean the finale, you know, I thought you were magnificent. Honestly, we we you worked so hard in that we we great did, collaboration yeah. there, but. But I know it was it was fantastic, and I think it's hard viewing. You know, I think it is, but I'm I'm really proud of it. How much did you love doing all of that action sequence? Because that looked so incredible. Um, I didn't, to be honest. Oh. You know, when, when 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 I mean, I love the action, but when you think about, you know, it was like four a.m. in the morning, and you're in the yeah. mud, and you can't see anything. And it just, it, I remember it was particularly cold, and I remember I just couldn't see anything. And there was one point I was like, I actually think I might hurt someone today. But I think, you know, uh, Jamie, who directed, I think did an incredible job, and any and the way it was lit as well, you know, a great GOP, and I think it's just so dramatic, and all the cast as well. You know, you see, you know, John Bell really becoming this i mean this... he really just took to that didn't he yeah that fight there's a small sequence where he has this fight in the background with a couple of guys and then he throws this uh tomahawk and mocks a guy out and i think he was not supposed to be doing that or something and he just kept doing it he was like, oh. Oh. <laughs> he, and he got them every time and everyone's well. like duck <laughs> 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 we just had to keep getting a new stun guy each time. What are you like? Because I know that Jamie has a lot of new challenges in season six. What are you most looking forward to? I've, I've started the book six. I really have, and, and I'm I'm about halfway through, but I haven't got to the end yet. But it's so interesting to see what the writers have done and where we're going. I I don't know where we where we end up, where we leave season five. Obviously, um, is you know the, the the whole family is fractured. They are together, but they are fractured. And I think Claire has you know still some healing to do as well right yeah no for sure i think it's one of the things i'm looking forward to is seeing how she copes with all of that and the repercussions of it but how the family as a whole unit heal together or help her to heal and and i think that that's going to be part of a really like lovely part of the story but anyway should we yes. go to some fan questions love to hi i'm carla from spain what was the scene that caused you the most to shut because you weren't table to stop laughing? I, I missed the question because I was too busy looking at the, the, the picture in the background, which is a collage. <laughs> You're busy looking at yourself. <laughs> it was cool. Yeah, there was, there was a collage. It was so good. Now, what was the scene that we... I think she asked what we couldn't stop laughing, which one? Um... I, think we, I think we might have annoyed David Berry one day because we were oh. laughing so much. Yeah. Sorry, David. We'll take this moment to apologize properly. Sorry. We're very sorry. sorry, David. We're really sorry. We're not very professional. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Next question. 
Hi Sam, hi Katrina, um, I'm Isabel from Brazil and my question is, did you guys take home anything from SAD this season? Wait a minute, Ooh. I'm beginning to feel- She's also got a collage, is this a running theme? I feel like Stars and Sony here have totally fixed this and put collages in people's houses. Did you take anything from SAD? I have to admit, I did. I strong-armed the armor this season. I went to town on the armor, so they now have nothing left and I have a house full of weapons. <laughs> but you have a closet full of swords. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. I think I may have taken a little something from the 1960s apartment because I knew I would never be back on that set again. Next. Hi, my name is Lonnie from California. My question for you, Sam and Katrina, is what was your favorite Jamie and Clara scene together? Oh. Um, no collage, but she did have a calendar. We'll let that slide. She, she had the t-shirt as well. Sassnack t-shirt. That was pretty true. cool. To be honest, my weirdly, my favorite scene, and it's probably not a fun scene, but it was you by the river in, I think it would be the last episode after the, the assault. And there was something about that scene. I thought you were fantastic. And I think, you, you know, there was just this weight and gravity to the whole scene. And to be honest, we couldn't really hear you or hear each other because there was so much water and waterfalls. We so shot like you had to right by a waterfall and then they edited it. Yeah that you can't see any of the water, so yeah. we could fit anywhere. <laughs> you, um, you really took it there, and I think it was uh, a really fun scene to sort of try and kind of, I guess, play off the other act and, and sort of build on what they're doing. Um, I enjoyed that one. Well, actually, I loved our drunk walk scene. Didn't know you could dance like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. That scene, it really is quite lighthearted and, and light, and it's nice to see Jamie and Claire still in love and still enjoying each other's company. Yeah. Good choice. <laughs> Next question. Hi, my name is Beth. I'm from North Carolina. And my question is, what one scene did you act you're most proud of and you knew in your heart you did it exactly the way you wanted it to? Thank you. North Carolina, big shout out. Woo um, I don't know that you ever leave any scene thinking, da-da. I think there's always... I, yeah, I agree. I mean, I. To be honest, I, I never feel like, oh, I did that how I wanted it to do it. You never know where it, you'll be taken by the scene, by the other actors or by the director or the whole situation. But um, yeah, I think you're right. There's one scene when we when we did that dance to the stones at the end of season two. I love you. You know, sometimes when you're really lucky, everything conspires to work in your favor. And I think we arrived on set that day and it was like somebody had Disney-fied the set. It was like this dusting of snow, but it was a beautiful day. And you and I were sort of talking about, we didn't quite know what we were going to do. And then we both just sort of figured it out. And it just, you know, it doesn't feel like it's like me doing it. It just feels like it happens. But I think that's one yeah. scene that I think really sang and and all the crew were like oh. it was it was really magical wasn't it i remember that yeah you're right that was a great ending to, to that scene hi i'm cj from australia um my question for sam and katrina is with the exception of each other and quite possibly adso if you had the opportunity to spend a day in another character's shoes from season five whose would it be and why that's a tough one jocasta Oh, yes, lovely. Yeah, that's a good choice. Mm. She's fantastic, isn't she? But she has a great journey there. Yeah. And she's playing this... and she just has a, the love story with Myrta and everything. It's like, yeah, beautiful character. Yeah. yeah, some good stuff. And you'll have to sing as well at the end, so you better. Well, except I, I would just ask Maria to sing and I would lip sync, but... <laughs> lip sync. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I was going to say Myrta, but uh, maybe Governor Tryon, actually. <laughs> um, I just love Tim and I think he does a good job and uh, it'd be kind of fun fun to have all the power there and be a bit bit of nasty. Bit snippy. Yeah, a bit snippy. Hi, I'm Jessica from California. I would love to know how it was working with the maggots and just working so close with them, how that was in the episode Monsters and Heroes. They're very demanding, aren't they? They're very and, noisy. And... They are, yeah. It's like a bowl of Rice Krispies. It's just like... Yeah, and they move so damn fast. Like they, uh -huh. you put them down and they are off. 
Yeah, I think you were quite you know, fascinated by them. I was. Well, first of all, they came in and they stank. You weren't there at this point, but it was myself and Lauren, and they, they were brought in in a box. And you could hear this like, but then this like waft of rotting flesh, sort of just, it was disgusting. So we requested that they be washed somehow. <laughs> and so, But it was also, I think we enjoyed watching you squirm a little. I mean, you weren't yeah, too bad, but it was when they would like go missing up your leg or under your legs. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, right, so I had this prosthetic on, obviously, and you can't see where it ends. So I was just kind of waiting for them to like get, find the edge and get under it. But um, I was also like trying to stay in the scene as well. And it's kind of hard when you've got a thousand little maggots charging around trying to get in every every crook. Okay, well, that is it. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. And we hope you've enjoyed this end of summer Outlander series. We particularly like the collages. So if anyone wants to show us their collage, we, we like that. And um, yeah, it's been great to, to hang with you. And we're really excited to hopefully get back to work soon. And we just want to say that we're, we really appreciate all the support. We're going to work really hard to make season six um, the best one yet. And if you guys want to support Doctors Without Borders, they do life-saving medical, humanitarian work around the world, especially during COVID. Click on the link, wherever that is. And um, it's been nice to hang with you, Balf. Likewise. Ching. Cheers. Sanja. <laughs>